Welcome back to Megazoid's Hut. So, new board came in. Uh, it's, it's fine. I mean, it looks... You know, copper pour always makes it look uh, a little bit nicer for some weird reason. Uh, but yeah, nice. Uh, turned out nice. And I couldn't wait to get that soldered up. Here it is. So it's already starting to look a bit more... A bit more like the finished product. The sound's actually not too bad. I'll move the speaker a bit closer. Oh, the CIA involved in stuff. Yeah, that never happens. Uh, yeah, so um, I've changed this speaker to, uh, you know, I, was, I just temporarily had this one, which uh, I just don't like these really, although I could actually have to use that. The original, the original speaker is really good quality. I had a couple of people comment that uh, they thought the sound out of that was amazing. But, you know, where do you put it? It's going to push the back right out. I was thinking with CRTs, uh, you do get that kind of bulge at the back of TVs. And I was thinking, you know, could you could stick it in there. It's still a possibility, but I'll probably just go with this one and have it sort of si uh, side mounted there. <clears throat> So yeah, it's uh, you know it's getting there. There's a bit of a bird's nest there that can be reduced a bit. The uh, one little, well, it's not really a problem, huge problem. It's not a problem for me, but uh, these uh, charging boards, uh, when they the, the default, it's the same as a lot of them. You know, the default is one amp charge, and uh, you can change a tiny little resistor there to alter that. So for a 600 milliamp hour battery that I'm using, you've got to drop that down. I've got it on a quarter amp, so I, th I think I used a five, 5K. Five oh, you'd have to look it up, but I think I used a 5K resistor. But that bit of soldering is a real nightmare. You know, I did manage to do it with a soldering iron with a very fine tip, but they've stuck it right in the middle of a, you know, I haven't even, <laughs> I haven't even tried to make it easy, you know. It's a very annoying. Uh, so, you know, just be aware of that if you, I'm going to open source the board and the case, eventual case, bill of materials. I can't open source the code. It's not my code. Um, but you know, if you do want to take a crack at that, a uh, crack at this, do be aware, uh, absolute nightmare solder there. Now you could, I suppose you could use one of those mini hot plates, get it on the hot plate, use a pair of tweezers when it's hot enough to just pop it off and then put a new one on there. That's probably the easier way. Um, or use a bigger battery, you know, just design your own case. Use a, a battery that's, uh, I would say, at a minimum 1500 to be safe. I mean, I have been a bit naughty and used 1200 milliamp hour batteries with one amp um, chargers, but, or, you know, charging board, which is a bit naughty, really, because you, yeah, it's all about uh, you don't want the thing getting too hot, you know, it could, could get dangerous. So <clears throat> just be aware, uh, there is, most of the soldering is is completely pedestrian, but um, that thing is difficult. Uh, yeah, so what else? Yeah, there is another weird thing on the charging board, which I don't really understand, <laughs> uh, which is the, where is it? This, which... It needs to be primed, so to get the thing to work at all, I had to, you know, hold the, connect these two things temporarily, and now it works fine. But I just find that a bit weird. I couldn't really understand the sort of half Chinese, half English instructions. I don't know whether I'm supposed to solder that point together. I don't know if anybody's got any... Um, uh, experience with this particular board uh, give me the heads up because I, I don't really want to solder it if that's the wrong thing to do however I did notice that it does occasionally need to be redone so it's really annoying that and uh, I, the only way around it that I'm thinking of at the moment is either just solder it and be done with it or have a little pinhole reset in the back which I could do so that if it stops working for any reason you can just shove a little but that's you know that's not uh that's not great design, is it? <laughs> anyway, it's coming along. So the case, I don't know how long that's going to take me. I'm not really interested in rushing things. Um, but it will be a old style TV type case. And then, yeah, possibly a week. I don't know. 
and then obviously uh, open source it. It is a very cheap project. I think if you feel that you can't, uh, you, you might get into trouble with the soldering, then just buy one. You know, get something like the Tiny TV, uh, Tiny Circuits, Tiny TV 2. Uh, they don't sponsor me to say this. I, I just like the company. And uh, here's the uh, thing, they're a little bit behind on the orders on those, but they're catching up, they're getting there. So yeah, I'd, uh, thanks for watching.